My name is Clayton Helkenberg, or more commonly known online as Aquatic Monkey. And I live in beautiful British Columbia, specifically the Fraser Valley, surrounded by beautiful towering mountains and an amazing network of lakes, rivers that all lead to the ocean. And this is where I grew up, having outdoors as a very important part of my childhood and to leave it now. So when I was a kid, I was always out on the water and that fascination just grew. And as a teenager, I grew up watching videos of people diving around the world, doing trash and treasure cleanups, finding all sorts of amazing things just below the surface. But I just found I never had the time. So when the world pretty much shut down during COVID, I found myself with a lot of spare time. I started jumping into my local lake and just kind of seeing what I could find. But the more and more I dove, the more trash I would find right beside those cool items. And it just didn't sit right with me, so I started picking up all that trash as well. And the more and more I did this and started posting my videos, I met a bunch of other people that were diving all the time, pulling out trash from our local waterways. Through that, I made a lot of really good friends, actually. A big problem we face in society is that so many people have this notion that is, what is out of sight is out of mind. Even though you don't see in this waterway here any trash floating on the surface, I guarantee you there's a lot that's under that you just may not see. And the big problem with this is that thousands of species of aquatic life do see it and impacts them daily. Some of the stuff I've pulled out has great, great impacts on aquatic life. I have pulled out many generators, boat motors, and the problem with those two specifically is that they have oil and gas in them. And when those tanks rust through, that gas gets put out into the environment. A large reason I film all my underwater diving adventures is to just educate the public on what kind of stuff is actually under the surface. Let's say Cultus Lake, for example. There are hundreds of thousands of people that visit that lake each year. So let's say you're having lunch on the beach and some of your wrapping from your food ends up getting blown into the water. One piece doesn't sound like a big deal to most people. If you multiply that by the hundreds of thousands that come to that lake each year, that adds up to a lot of trash. And I think that's a main reason why so much trash ends up in our waterways is people just not paying attention to where their trash is going. Something that does show a lot of promise for just humanity though is that most of our diving, we find cans and bottles dating back to the early 1900s up to the early 2000s. It's becoming far less frequent that we find new trash, which is super amazing to see. I'm being a little arrogant here, but I would love to attribute that to some of the videos that me and some of the friends make, raising awareness to the fact that you shouldn't be throwing your garbage in lakes and rivers. The big part of me making these videos is to educate the public. If I could have one person that watches one of my videos think twice about how they dispose of their trash, and better yet, if I can get one of those people while they're disposing of their trash correctly to also pick up the discarded trash of someone else. It's been amazing to do some of these cleanup dives as far west as Kelowna and as far east as Tofino. And along the way, I have been able to dive with so many amazing people. A project that I was able to be a part of was called Diving In, The Art of Cleaning Lakes and Oceans. This project took a lot of the trash that we found from all over BC and they gave it to a bunch of local artists. So they took literal trash and made it into some amazing art forms. Without question, pulling out thousands of pounds of trash from our lakes and oceans has an overwhelmingly positive benefit on the environment. The issue is this takes a lot of time and effort as well as money by a lot of people. So this brings us to the second reason why I film a lot of these videos. And that is to work with companies and sponsors in order to fund a lot of these cleanups. Scuba diving and freediving gear is extremely expensive. All the people that we work with are just volunteers. They bring their own gear, spend their own time and gas money on helping out and coming to these events, which I greatly appreciate. I would love to be able to fund all of these people and provide lunches, gear, and gas money for all their hard efforts. I've had some amazing relationships with a few companies and they've helped me out so much, but even myself, I have a full-time job and this is basically only a hobby. Such an important part of what I'm doing is to promote education. And not only do I mean educating the people that are around right now, but educating our future generations to help make our planet better. It would be a bit naive of me to think that in my lifetime, I could clean the world's waterways of all the trash that is in it. If I was able to do one thing with my life, it would be to have a legacy that inspired future generations to have pretty basic morals about the environment and have waterways that are pollutant free that they can enjoy for the rest of humanity. My short term goal is to pull out 5,000 drinking containers from our local waterways. So far, I'm around 900 cans and bottles out. Many more to go. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this.